What's going on everybody? It's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads. Big Joey C is here with me as usual. Urban Ghost, Urban Exploration. Um, I told Joe we weren't going to do a video. I wasn't going to do a video until after the new year. Um, just, you know, holidays and kids and all that good stuff, family. Um, <clears throat> if, you seen, if you have seen Joe's video already, I don't know if mine will be up before his or his is up before mine. Um, we had a little disturbing incident in the past with a uh, with a guy that uh, he's kind of been playing games so uh, there was a note on my car also Joe's car um, at my house at his house um, so you can do what you want to do you can say what you want to say on the outside um, but when you come into where we live um, we've got an issue with that so Apparently he wanted to meet us here at uh, the rec center, the Boys and Girls Club, tonight at 9 o'clock. So we're here. Um, we're going to see what's going on. We're not looking for any trouble. We're not trying to hurt anybody. Um, Joe was going to come by himself, but of course I wasn't going to let him do that. Um, just so you know, people know that we're here for this. Um, some people that are you know, able to take care of some things, just in case. I don't think anything crazy is going to happen. This guy, if he shows up, great. He told Joe he'd meet him up here earlier today, too. He said he was going to be here during the day. He didn't show up, and then he said he'd be back at 9 o'clock tonight. So here we are. Um, again, guys, we're not looking to start any trouble or anything like that, um, but we do need to speak with this guy because uh, um, came to came to, it's personal now. It came to our home. Um, my home is in a gated community. I don't know how he got in. Um, so, with that being said, I've got a kind of a static setup here. We're just going to kind of hang out, have a little stakeout. Um, we can't we can't go back inside because uh, after our last couple of videos, the place is boarded up. So we're going to hang out on the playground and see what happens. So we'll see you guys out there. So. Alright, so like I said, I have a I have a stand for my camera tonight, so I'm gonna just kinda let it sit there and walk around, see what we can find. I'm sure I'll take it off of the stand for a little bit too, but we just want to kind of capture everything as it unfolds, if it unfolds, but like I said, just don't want you guys to think that we're looking for trouble. We're not looking for trouble. We're looking to um, resolve an issue that, that needs to be resolved. So um, with that being said, 
I'm going to come out of the stand and walk around a little bit. And then I'll go back in the stand, all that good stuff. Yes, I shaved my face, guys. In case you were wondering. As you know, this place is very, very creepy. Might have some wind noise, and I apologize for that. This guy's name's Jim. So we park a little... <clears throat> we have to park. Um, in Joe's intro, we shot, uh, shot it from a parking lot behind a restaurant. So it's kind of the only way to get in here. You gotta take a little bit of a walk. So if our buddy Jim's here, he's gonna see our cars. He obviously knows our vehicles. So um, we'll see. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe he's gonna ambush us. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, I think it's just the guy that wanted to do some videos with us. And uh, he actually gave us some information on a, um, Joe, what was that, that that he gave us? The funeral place, right? Yeah, it's, and he's the guy who set us up and then we both did the road challenges at the, uh, at that abandoned funeral home. Yeah, at the funeral home. So, um, anyway, yeah, we that's the one where um, Joe, uh, yeah. with the, the rock came, the through, rock the came through the window. Yeah. Um, I never did an alone challenge there. I went there, um, and because of, it just, I don't think you were able to go there. Did you I, w go? I went by there after you did yours, and I didn't feel comfortable. Yeah. But I just heard something back here. We should start Honestly, if you think about it, if, if this person does show up, they could already be here. Well, that's what I was just saying on my camera. If he comes up, he's going to see our vehicles where we park. So... stand over here by the play playground. <clears throat> so this place is locked up now by the way. I think I mentioned it earlier. Like I said earlier, um, there's there are some people that want to do videos um, with us, and we wish we can, you know, to help people along. Um, much like Joe and Rob have helped me, and Todd have helped me. Um, it's just it's difficult. I mean, it's hard it's hard for me to get away from life sometimes to, to make these videos. So um, it's kind of a tight tight schedule believe it or not so apparently this person took it personal and it's just it's just unfortunate so this video will be shown um, no matter what if anything happens or not just so we can let Jim know Jim come talk to me you need help you need anything I'll help you out Joe will help you out but do me a favor don't come to my home I've got a wife, I've got a family, I've got children, I've got grandchildren. I will, I will protect my family. Um, 
and that's crossing a line and you just don't do that so I want to talk to you we need to make whatever your issue is right um, especially now that I know that you've been to my home um, we are in the process of finding out exactly where you live um, and um, I don't want to push it any further than we have to so if you don't come here tonight to talk with us um, please reach out give me your number I'll give you a call um, we can meet up for coffee whatever we gotta do but I don't want to go any further with this um, I don't want to have the police get involved and you know we have trespassing warrants so you can't come within so many feet I mean we don't want to we don't want to get to that I mean if there's something that you feel that we've done to you um, or Joe's done to you or whomever um, I know I have never met you but I mean here's your opportunity buddy please um, let's let's go ahead and resolve this issue we don't need it to be um, to the point where um, uh, it goes any further and gets legal or gets physical or you know we don't need any of that so I beg to you I beg of you to reach out come talk to us we're all grown men this isn't you know we're not little children we'll help you out whatever way we can um, but you, you definitely cross the line by coming to my home and I'll tell you this right now I forgive you for that um, I got your note Joe got your note and uh, we'd love to sit and talk with you let's figure this out okay if, if you really think that you have to go this far for us to for us to shoot a video with you or whatever I don't know what it is but let's resolve our issues and uh, you know let's let's make a let's make a good example for our children um, on how to resolve issues okay let's make this right so we're just kind of set up here there's a playground and uh, I'm just gonna hang out maybe play on the playground for a bit said there's a path he just went up to the back side of the playground that he said he believes it, it leads to the opposite side of the building so I mean people can come from two different angles I guess but we're here there might be some edits in this some cuts because um, we're gonna be here for a while so uh, you know forgive us. I'm going to go look around here, guys. So when did this guy want to shoot a video with us, Joe? What's that? When did he want to shoot a video with us? I don't know if he ever wanted to. Remember he recommended that place? Oh, I thought that's how this whole thing was uh, he recommended earlier, the that place. he wanted to shoot a video. He recommended the place and then we show up. I forget how the chain of events happened. I, thought this I did a 30 guy minute alone out. challenge there. You were supposed to come. You couldn't make it that night. I wound up doing a 30 minute yeah, alone. And then I went back after right. you, but I didn't do it. Right. Um, but I thought this was the same guy that reached out um, and said he had a couple places and wanted to do a video. Well, that was the initial reach out. Yeah. And then he tried to, you know, like mess with us. Yeah. The creepy thing is he knows where we live. Yeah, uh, I, I, you know, we'll 
hopefully we'll fix this and, you know, come yeah. to a conclusion and make it right. Yeah, don't forget, we should check in the woods. Yeah, I saw that opening there. I'm going to take my camera off and walk back there. There, um, So the, the spot that Joe has mentioned is off to my left. Um, and then there's a there's a fence line that goes around here, but it has a, a huge gate that's open. I mean, right next to where we are. So I'm going to go. Joe and I are going to take a walk back there and check it out. So. <clears throat> yeah, with this wind noise. So we definitely um, the first time we we were we were when I was here um, when Joe came. Um, we were uh, told that there were homeless people all around here, and there was definitely remnants. Um, it was def okay. That's just the wind. There was uh, definitely remnants or um, shit actually inside that was fresh. <laughs> so someone was hanging out here, but. We don't see any signs of homeless people here now. So there's a, it's like an old building back here as well. Okay, so you see this fence line and it's blocked off here. So this must be another section of this property because that fence line goes, no, but what was that? You know what it sounded like to me? A kazoo. <laughs> Is that what that sounded like? Yeah, I, heard like, like uh, yeah, I thought I heard a kazoo. Jimmy! Hey, Jim! I just got the confrontational chills. What's your name? She got, is it checking out the supply? Oh, yeah. You want to go in the woods? Yeah, let's go. The coast is clear and then... Well, see, now, this is all fenced off, so... There's only one way to get in on this side, Joe. And that's the way we came. Now, you can come... We cut through there. No. I mean, you can go all the way back to that building there. Yeah, that's a feeling, man. Okay. This person wants to hurt us. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think so. You don't think so? Uh, come on. Well, I mean, who knows? I mean, maybe you're right. I think he's... I just think he is... Uh, starving for some attention and... But I don't know how he got through my gate, Joe. That's what I'm saying. Unless he I wonder if lives yeah. in... Well, obviously, I don't think that's his real name. <clears throat> Air brakes. Over here, come on. Well, that would be, <clears throat> if that were the case, Joe, they have cameras back there from the restaurant, so. That you, Jim? Yeah. 
banging, right? Yeah, that banging yeah, it was over here. Is that by the car? Is that to the in the restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, I just saw him walk into. So out there is where the vehicle is. I don't know, maybe like 200 yards away. I think this is the only way somebody can come in. I know Joe mentioned back on the opposite side there's a path, but we may have to go check that out too. <clears throat> I did. There was a scream off in the distance. Sound like a kid, Joe? I really don't think this dude's gonna show up. someone that might know us and is jealous of us for whatever reason I have no idea why anybody would ever be jealous of me but um, so I'm wondering if it's someone we know just trying to play games. oh Jesus So I'm walking with the light on me and there's a low hanging <laughs> a low hanging branch that hit my camera and if I thought something was flying into my camera. <laughs> Alright, good. I'll give you a good chuckle. Stupid. What is this, Joe? This is a part of the uh, Boys and Girls Club, too? Yeah, the pool table and stuff in there. It's like all vandalized, though. Oh. Let's see if I can let you guys see him. Oh, yeah. Same colors and yeah. everything. Only difference is there's no shit all over the place. Looks like they're working on it though. You notice that? Uh, yeah, they might be. Everything locked in here. Those air brakes? Yep. There's like a bus depot over there. Was that from the door? It banged on the door, like it jiggled the door, and then somebody jiggled it back. Somebody knocks back, and that's gonna be weird.
What is that? It's someone from the fucking building, bro. Somebody knocked back twice. Did you hear that? Boom, boom. You okay? Anybody need help? Joe, that's locked up solid right now. So the camera had to pick that up, guys. So first I jiggle the door, and then sleeping in the back. There's not a lock, though. I heard like a... You see there? There's not a lock. Oh, here's the lock, sorry. I'm gonna t I'm gonna throw some other names at you later when we're off camera if he doesn't show up. Yeah, of who I think. Yeah. This is more I think about it. I have a feeling it's somebody that that we uh, yeah. I don't want to insinuate anything, but I'll, I I have a really sneaky suspicion. What was that, Joe? The fucking door just banged back. Dude, the door just banged back. Hey, we're not here to harm anybody. Hello? So, do you hear that? That was in here. Did you say help me? I just heard something. I mean, I can't look in with my camera can. Oh, good idea, Joe. I'm looking on your screen, too. Let me load, let me raise this thing. Whoa, was that you, Joe? Joe, there's nobody in there, bud.
just being out here is uneasy. But that was strange. Thought we heard some knocking on the door as Joe knocked. Um, he jiggled that handle and then he thought it jiggled back. There's, unless there's like a hidden room, it looks pretty wide open. So, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. over here Let's see if our buddies here but I don't think I think it's just we'll see we'll see like I said I don't want to make any accusations on anything um, but certain things make a little more sense now that I'm out here and thinking a lot about it um, it's easy to make a uh, you know, ghost accounts and everything on social media. If you're watching this, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. And I hope you have a fantastic new year. I know it's going to be a great year. The best is yet to come. And um, that's to quote my cousin Frank. He's a big, uh, he sort of signs out of all of his Facebook wishes and all that good stuff with a uh, God bless. And remember the best is yet to come. This is a little wobbly, a little shaky, I apologize. <clears throat> Things are uh, getting bright, brighter. The future is definitely getting brighter. Things have been uh, getting better on my end, I hope. Um, I hope you're sharing the same experiences on your end. Um, I took Lainey to uh, another follow-up visit today. She is walking without any assistance of wheelchair walker crutches so 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 proud of her she's definitely way 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 ahead of where where we thought she'd be and today she was cleared to drive again I'm not too happy about that but you know it's it's a big step for her and you know it's a little more freedom for her and uh, we're thinking by the end of January she's gonna be able to go back to school um, but she's been doing her school at home and she's doing wonderful um, she's, she's like, I, I kind of like this because it's a lot easier on her. Um, the stress of having to get up uh, at 6 in the morning to go to school and all that. Now it just comes to you um, on a set schedule that she set. So. But uh, my, um, my ex-wife Tandra's been doing really well. She's taken tremendous strides. The chemo's doing a great job. Um, her levels have been going down um again her okay sorry about that Woo. but um her levels have gone down tremendously um the cancer will never go away it's metastasized but their game plan and their goal is that we stretch life out as long as possible for her. and uh it looks like so far um that's uh that's that's coming to fruition which is fantastic so uh, like I said, I know everybody's got issues, you know, mine are no greater than anybody else's. I just have an outlet that I get to speak um, speak to you guys, and it makes me feel a lot better. It's, uh, believe it or not, when this camera is not rolling, I sort of uh, shut down. I don't speak as much uh, about uh, life's ups and downs. So uh, my father is... You know, he's getting by. Um, got some doctor's appointments coming up. Uh, just trying to take him out. All he pretty much wants is to go out to lunch. So, take him to lunch every once in a while. Uh, tomorrow I'll be taking him to the Olive Garden. Um, and then for some pastries after. So, he, he's a happy man as long as he gets that.
taken care of so anyway I'm glad I can give you guys this update I know I said I would try and do a live video I've had family in and it's been like I said it's just been hectic on my end as I'm sure it is on yours as well and uh, so I'm glad I can give you guys an update uh, nevertheless I don't believe Jim is going to be showing up <laughs> there's like a bus depot or something over there so there's little noises coming off of that that throw me for a loop every time you hear an air, air brake go off or a little beeping go uh, going off it's coming from over there I'm just gonna hang out guys Joe's still over at that other building You okay? Good? So anyway, how are you guys? Tell me a little bit about what's going on for you with you for you where did i learn how to speak what's going on in your lives comment down below let me know guys this year is going to be great i'm excited about um joe has some really wonderful things coming up in, in uh, this month uh and i'm just so thrilled about um and uh when that happens you know uh, he'll be sharing sharing that with you so uh we're real excited. Um, I know we always say we want to try to travel places, and hopefully this year we can. I've only been doing this, again, guys, since June? I believe June. So I'm still a newbie. I'm still green. Learning a lot all the time. It seems like every place that we have to go to is boarded up. Um, I don't know if that's because of the views, and it's touching so many people that people are like, yeah, okay, enough. We are going to lock this place down or it's just coincidental so i don't know um i know joe's been doing a lot of these joe and rob been doing a lot of these places for you know a long time and now all of a sudden they're getting locked up <laughs> so maybe uh maybe that's me maybe i brought some bad luck to them when it comes to that but and i will also say thank you to everybody for this amazing second half of the year for me uh starting these videos <clears throat> like i said a little while ago it's given me an outlet to express some feelings and emotions um where i, I wouldn't have um so to me it's sort of therapeutic as well and um i just can't tell you how grateful i am of, of every single one of you and um everybody that's sent cards and christmas cards and uh, gifts and Gosh, you guys have sent stuff for my ex-wife. I think that's just the most beautiful thing ever. Um, the fire captain that I know that has ALS, um, when you guys sent all those birthday cards, um, just, I can't even tell you how amazing that is and how powerful that is. And it just, it just blows me away. Um, even the people that have look down upon all our videos and make fun of all of the stuff we do or have negative things to say i'm grateful for all of them too because you know hey you're watching my videos which thank you i appreciate it but you know i've made i've made what i would consider uh, you know a um an amazing an abundance of of friendships uh through this stupid little camera <laughs> so it's been it's been great and i've met uh I've spoken with people, um, like I said, that say negative stuff. I've spoken to them online, and, you know, actually we tried to help uh, the uh, Shapes friend um, with a GoFundMe and all that good stuff, and, you know, they're, they're just good, good people just doing what they do like we do and, you know, just trying to, you know, put out good content. And, uh, you know, when, when they show our videos, it gives us a new audience too, so I'm, I'm fine with that. And at the end of the day, as long as you're enjoying what we do, it's it's a it's a source of entertainment. Um, 
and to do it at, at our expenses is, is quite quite awesome. Uh, I really I really enjoy it and I appreciate it. Um, so this is my chance to say to you guys again, thank you so much for for um, just blessing me with all the views and all the subscribers and uh, the cameos and, and uh, the donations. Uh, the, the, you, I, I've had people donate to my, um, that was just Joe, um, to my PayPal uh, saying go get gas, you know, for your next Explorer. Little stuff just to donate to, to the channel and uh, it just means so much. But we are going to try and do some more traveling. Um, it's again it's an expense so it's a little difficult and for you know me too it's kind of difficult to get away from the family or whatnot but um this is going to be the year we're going to hopefully come out to close to where you are and, and get a chance to meet you guys so thank you again i just ranted on for a good five minutes you know? dude i heard a voice over there walking back here i heard a voice over there and i think to say that we done our due diligence. Should walk back there. Yeah, once let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Here. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't think this guy's showing. No, and we're gonna have to really talk about that because I think. Uh, right. are you, do you know what I'm thinking too, Jeff? Kind of thinking along the same. We, like I said, we're not gonna discuss it on camera, but no. we'll discuss it off. I don't want to make accusations. <clears throat> Well, I apologize because I've been talking non-stop to this camera, so I hope my chatting didn't throw, throw you off on hearing anything. Yeah, it only proves. Also thinking the same thing by the handwriting that Jim's really a female, right? <laughs> well, I mean, again, I don't want to make any accusations, but um, female. It looks like female. now it looks. Now it's a little. I think. <laughs> what was that? these little cups they remind me of uh, fluoride cups from elementary school what was that Joe huh You think that was just the noise of, from the road? Yeah, not the smartest idea. 
I mean, we're definitely way. <laughs> yeah. That was a dog that time. campsite yeah. remember which way we came Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, so we are, uh, we're gonna cut out and get out of here. So, if anything else unfolds from this situation, we'll keep you guys sort of abreast of what's going on. I said abreast. <laughs> Joe, I said abreast. 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 <laughs> anyway. Again, guys, thank you so much for this wonderful uh, opportunity to, to bring these videos to you. Um, like I said, the second half of my year has been great, and it's all because of, of you guys. Um, big thank you to my buddy Joe from Urban Ghost Urban Explorations for getting me to come along this journey with them. Uh, it's, just been, uh, it's just been awesome. It's been a blessing. It's been great. Um, any time that we get to hang out together is a great time. So 
Um, now we just have more of an excuse to do it more often. So, um, guys, down below in my description, everything is still down there. Um, thank you so much. Um, please, thumbs up, like, share my videos. Um, it's awesome. Uh, I'm almost at 30,000 subscribers in a very short amount of time. And uh, hopefully this time next year, we'll hit the 100 mark. But we'll see. You never know. Um, I can't do it without you guys, though. Please uh, pass it on. And uh, I hope I can keep this going for many, many, many years in the future. So uh, thank you again. I love you all. Um, again, a big thank you to... Uh, Joe, Rob, Todd from Holy Walkers. Um, I don't forget about you because uh, you helped me out getting this started too. I love you, brother. Hope you're safe. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you when you were here for the holidays. Um, and uh, geez, all the new friends I've made this year. Um, I, 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 I can't thank everybody enough. So I love you all. I will see you next time. Deuces.